Here's a fine example of a mid-1930s uh, dice gambling machine, the Buckley Bones. Um, basically a craps game. And the way it works is uh, there's two different windows. And uh, you, after you put in the first nickel and you push down the lever. So from that, we uh, unfortunately uh, rolled craps. So uh, since we got the snake eyes, there is uh, no further play. Let's go ahead and uh, try it again. Okay, so now we've rolled a six. And what that basically means is that we can play again, uh, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna try and play again. And now the dice will show up in the second window. If we roll a, uh, a crap or a seven, then we stop. Otherwise, we can, um, we're trying to match the four and the two, right? So six is our point that we're trying to match. And, if we, uh, and we hit that, so uh, we got paid and we got paid our two. So that's the way uh, that the, uh, the game plays. Typically uh, not as lucky as that, actually. It's a uh, typical thing to, uh, to win on. So now we hit a four on the left-hand side. That means we play again. So we don't have to put any money in. We just continue to roll. And unfortunately, that roll, we threw a seven. So we're done. So again, the Buckley Bones Dice Gambling Machine from the mid-1930s.